What is up the world? It's your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. On the Ark Survival Evolved Pooping Evolved server. Ugh, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. And we're back, peeps, doing stuff and things. And little Thruster is now just Thruster. And look at his statistics. He's already level 206. We've got 3,088 health now. 1140 stamina. We've only got 234 weight. We haven't started pumping that. We're going to talk more about the stats here in a second in relationship uh, for the, the Trinidad in relationship to the Argentavis. Uh, weight, 12... 26 oh no melee damage 1226 1226 and movement speed 136.5 so i think what we're gonna do next is pump health all right nailed today he can't be stopped he's getting pretty baller he's getting to be a thing but what i want to do before we talk about the relationship or the difference in the statistics between the argentavis and the pterodon we're gonna take a look at our to-do list one of the things that was on here was get a high level lady pteranodon we did that we got veronica and uh, she was a perfect tame, so it was so good, so cool. We got that done. So now we got to do base building supplies, which has changed a little bit. Mazion needed a couple of ceilings, so our ceiling count went from 68 to 72. We still need 37 metal foundations. I've added dino pens to the list as well, guys, because it's getting a little bit... We need to get some organization here. Like, I have things kind of organized in piles, but I want it to be like more like stacks. I don't want piles. I want stacks. So we need to get a little bit more organization here. So that's on the to-do list as well now. So that's one of the things that we're going to be doing uh, too. So, oh, I want to stop. Hold on. And thank you guys ugh, so very much for all your likes and support and all the videos. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. I know I say this every time, but I do. I really appreciate it. I want to say thank you. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more ARC stuff and things. All right. So we got to, what level are you? What level are you, Tranodon? I'm always in the market. For one of them there, Pteranodons. You want to go? Now that they still can't be stopped. So, um, some stuff and things that have gone on. We got the to-do list that I showed you that. Let's go ahead and get Thruster and fly over to our farms. Just so I can give you a little bit of an update. Bloop has been working hard. We got all sorts of stuff and things going on over here. So you can see inside of here, I've got a bunch of fertilizer kind of on on, on back order. On, on In supply. In reserve. And I've started to make a bunch more. And we actually already have some done here. There's one there. There's two there. If we pull them out of these compost bins, we're not able to put them back in. So I've got two coming or 20 more basically on the way. And then we've got this back here. And we're going to save that because right now we're completely, totally like set on all of the vegetables. Let me take you over here to the refrigerator area. This is our little tiny technologically advanced area. I did put a light in. Yeah, that's right. So, um, and then over here, you can see we've got veggies galore. I mean, we've got a bunch now. So I think that we're just going to keep that com uh, compost um, on reserve, the fertilizer. So if we need more, we can just really quickly squirt it in there. It'll take about a day. So, but, um, but that way we're good to go on veggies. All right. So, you know, we're kind of conducting the experiment, right? The experiment that is, can we make like a battle pteranodon? And we've got Ouncey, who's really, really a powerful RG. Um, and we've got Thruster. So um, Thruster was, I think, 183 when he was fully grown. And Ouncey was 179. So Thruster's got about four levels on, on Ouncey. So not a big deal. But if you take a look at the Trandon, some stuff to think about. Um, now, Ouncey's way has leveled much, much more. Ouncey's level 225. But one of the things that I haven't touched on Ouncey at all is stamina. I don't believe I pumped this. I think maybe one point, maybe. I wish that you could tell. But, um, so very, very high stamina. And you're going to get that with any Argentavis. Whereas on a Pteranodon, they're just not going to have quite as much. So the Pteranodon did start off with what I do believe would be higher base melee damage. And if I'm not mistaken, on Thruster, it was 511%. And I think on Ounty, it was like three something. Um, and Ouncey also starts off with 100% movement speed, where I haven't pumped Thruster's movement speed at all, and it's at 136.5. So you can see that there's definitely some trade-offs between the two. Um, but I'm already feeling, like, pretty confident about Thruster. Like, he's got 3,000 hit points now. He's got 12, 1,200 melee damage. Like, he's doing pretty good, and he flies pretty quick. Like, if we take a little fly around, kind of get an idea of what his speed looks like. And then let's get on Ouncey and see... I mean, 
Ouncey flaps a little faster, but I think that Thruster may actually be faster already. So that's kind of an interesting little piece there, you know what I mean? Like, I'm interested to see this. I've never really seen anybody do this. One of the commenters uh, had said that he had, like, a battle Pteranodon and uh, that it was baller. And that's why I kind of wanted to see how this would work out. So, yeah, doing stuff and things, hanging out. We're thinking about building the dino pens, all that. I had something else that I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I think that what we're going to do today to start off with, we want to go to the North Island with Thruster and have a little bit of fun and level him up. But I also wanted to show you that I've been hard at work off camera in the evenings. I got a bunch more metal, a bunch more chitin. I got a bunch more cementing paste. We're a little bit low on stone right now to make more. Because we need to have, what is it, uh, 32 stacks in order to make 400 cementing paste. So we're a little bit low right now. But what I thought we would do is go ahead and grab this stuff and see if we can get... We need, what is it, 37 more foundations? So I want to see if we can get to that point. So I'm going to start carrying this stuff back and forth, bringing it up to hardware, building those foundations, and we'll see if we can get to that magic 37 number, that total of 90 that we need. All right, BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Do we have 37 foundations, peeps? I can't believe it. I actually didn't think we were going to be able to build that many. So if we tee these into there, and then we come down here, there should be 90. Bam, I nailed it, ACK, can't be stopped. We got 90 of those. So now we need, what, 72 more ceilings. Let's see here. Do we have any more cementing paste to be had? Okay, we got this. these four. We'll just bring all of that up here. And let's take a look. I mean, I don't think, could we get to the 72 ceilings as well? I bet you we're going to be a little bit short. Let's have a look inside of here real quick. Yeah, yeah maybe. All right. And then if we go into, what? Uh, no, if we go into structures, metal, and then where are you, the ceilings? Just regular metal ceilings? We can make 10. All right. I'm going to start bringing stuff and things over to make metal ceilings. Let's see if we can make 70. I don't, I don't, I mean, I could do the math real quick and see, but I'd rather be surprised. <laughs> and we're back. And something amazing is about to happen. I did have to go and craft 300 more cementic paste, which used all of the available stone that we had in order to do this. But we have done it, ladies and gentle peeps. 72. Oh, I'm so slow right now because of my 72 ceilings. Oh, I did this. Yes, we made it. Ugh, ugh, ugh. There should be a total of 95 ceilings in here after we do this. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? Now the nice thing can't be stopped. 42 meter pillars. Meter. What is a meter pillar? Uh, 90 metal foundations and 95 metal ceilings. Perseverance. Hard work and stick to itiveness have prevailed. We are now able to convert, as long as no mistakes are made, the upper shell to an all metal shell thing. But I feel like I'm not ready. I feel like I'm not ready to do it right now. I feel like what we need to do now is take Thruster to the Northern Island to celebrate by destroying all the faces of all the things on the island and leveling him up to make him a super Thruster. And that's what we're going to do, peeps! Let's do it!
And we're back. Death and destruction everywhere. As you can see, Thruster is now up to 5,000 hit points, 1,596 stamina. He's still got the 1,200 melee damage, and I put one point into movement speed as well. So um, he's getting pretty good. Like, he's getting pretty good. But the, the thing that I'm wondering about, he's 219 now, is that I don't think he'll be at the same statistics level that... Ouncey is by the time he is the same level as Ouncey. So I don't know if this is actually going to be a thing. And I've managed to not kill any 120th level anythings accidentally. Even though when I do my level ups, I don't ever look. Um, I don't ever really look because I'm just interested in killing and destruction and death and getting levels. Um, this guy looks like he might be high. No, just 36. So one of the other things that I think is really cool is this maneuver. You can like do like a corkscrewy spin like this thing. This is amazing. It's just like a blender. Oh my gosh, that's a good name for a Tyranodon would be blender. But this guy is just like a blender, man. Like it's crazy. Now the the that attack, the blender attack, does take a lot more stamina. And with this guy, I've got to rest a lot more than I got to rest on the RG. Um, and I think that's in two parts, or it's a re an issue for two reasons. And that's because the stamina obviously is about half. But then also, I think that that blender maneuver takes, it sucks up a lot of his staminas. So, where did you go, two raptors? I saw you. Don't act like I didn't see you. Is that you in the water? I can't get you while you're in the water. Why don't you come over here so I can kill your faces? Oh, this is going to be much better. Nope, then I, oh, you want a free, you want your free shot? Free shot. Blenderize them. Get in the blender. See? I mean, it's pretty crazy. Now... Uh, because of the stamina issue, it is much better for you to just use his pecking attack, which is still like really powerful. Oh, you're 112, aren't you, big guy? But not quite as fun. I like blendering people better. You want to get blenderized? See, look at that move, man. That's so amazing. And we got another level. So I think we're going to pump this into... I think we're going to go stamina. So we got like what? It was... I can't remember now. Is that only 100 stamina? Crap. I gotta look back. But if it was 100, 150 or something like that, that means he would need, like, 15 levels to get as much stamina as Ouncey. Um, and his damage is a little bit higher, by the way. He is at 1226%. But anyway, so that's the scientific portion and the fun portion of, uh, of our video for today. I think it's time to head back to the base, and we gotta get the shell completely converted over to metal. So let's go. I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, in the wee hours of the morn. And we had to bring Ouncey up because I'm pretty sure that I couldn't carry 45 metal foundations um, up here uh, on Thruster. Another thing to think about, the weight issue. But all right, so now we've got to start to convert this. Now, one of the most difficult things with converting this is that oh, well, let me do it. Oh, I can do that one. Okay, we got it. Is that you can't see when converting a thatch foundation into a metal foundation. You're just basically guessing. So what I do is I just make sure that I have the name visible. As long as the name is visible, it seems to be that they place correctly like a so. Oh my gosh. It scares me though because these are so expensive. So it's a little bit scary. Oh, it's starting to look so much better. All right, let's come over here. There's a lot of lag right now here, too. Let's go ahead and we can just tee them right in there. I love the miracle of the tee. So, and then you can see, I like how this is going to look. This little bit of extra stuff and things they have on the side there, just for the foundation, that really adds, like, it just adds, you know? It's an add. It's not a subtract. Um, so, I'm excited about it. Oh, man. Okay, got that one. Oh, baby. So it's a little bit, a little bit wacky. A little bit scary. And then sometimes it says it's obstructed. Oh, wow. This is kind of scary. Um, can we get underneath here? Nailed it. Oh, 
weird. Isn't that weird? We just have to keep going around and around. All right. It's happening, peeps. No! All right, I'm going to try to get it all done. The bottom part, and then I'll be Irby's. Moment of truth. Are we good at counting? We shall find out! Now that Ace it can't be stopped, we're amazing counting, people! We did it. We counted. And we have an entire metal floor. Now, for a lot of you, you may be saying to yourself, Oh, wow, Slipgator. That's a really, wow, metal floor. Pfft, whatever. Yeah, you do it. They're expensive. It takes a lot. It takes a long time to get this stuff. If you're in a tribe or something like that, doing it on your own, or do, uh, in a tribe and you have a lot of people, probably could get that done pretty quick, or a lot quicker. But for one guy, making all these videos, doing all this stuff, I feel like I've seriously... Could you... I feel like I've seriously accomplished something, and I would appreciate it if we could all revel in it together. So, because it's amazing. So, so we're gonna come over here. Next thing you do, we're gonna do now. Op? No. Pill? Yes. Forty-two of these bad boys. Can we carry those? It's kind of, sort of. No, we got it. Just great. Perfect. Nail the days can't be stopped. Fly out and up and around like a so. You know, this is really kind of exciting for me because. I really do, like, I've been talking about this base, and I've been talking about how I want to add more detail to it. And, um, so this is why this is exciting, because we can get past this part. Are you really not going to break the things again? All right, we'll have to break them manually. But, um, yeah, it's just exciting that we can do that, and we can get to that part where we're doing more of the aesthetic stuff and things. I'm going to have to get the Quetzal up here to get those ones. But, all right, let's see. Can we get this guy? <laughs> Nailed it, Ace, that can't be stopped. All right, so then we just got the rest of these to get. Are you in the correct spot? Yeah, you are. Now, these are all breaking. I wonder why that is. I bet there's something. Not that one, though, uh, happening here. All right, all right, all right, enough of that. I'm going to place the rest of all the Irby's. And we're back. And I'm going to try something a little bit different here, peeps. I heard that if you go to place a ceiling and you hold shift and W and colon and ampersand and then the other shift and then backspace and insert and pause slash break, it will... Place all of the other adjacent ceilings at the same time. Are you guys ready? We're going to try this. All right, hold on. I have all the things. I'm holding them all. I don't know if I can hold this and push the mouse button at the same time. All right. Three, two, one. Wait, that was bad. Let me count it down again. This is better. All right. On three. Three. It worked! Nailed it, Ace, it can't be stopped! We have made a metal building that is entirely made of metal now. Previously to this, we had started to make a metal building, but it wasn't made of metal. But now our metal building is made of metal. The shell is complete, ladies and gentle peeps. What does this mean? It means a lot more metal farming, which is perfectly fine. Because then I can watch videos and answer comments and read your comments and do stuff and things while I'm doing that, which is totally fine. But it is a thing. And it is almost identical to the thing that it was before, but it's gone through a transformation process, not unlike the caterpillar in its chrysalis becoming a butterfly. It is glorious and metal, and no dinos will ever destroy it, even though there are no other tribes on our server, and doesn't matter. It's really great, and I'm excited about it! And you know what else we can do now? Now we can place a fabricator up here, and we can place a smithy up here, and we can have stuff and things, and we can start using this as, like, our place. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm really excited about it. And it looks glorious. And we're back, and we got stuff and things going on. We're trying to get some building supplies, or some um, different stuff and things ready to get put up inside of there. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the journey. There's our fabricator. Oh, two? Let's just craft one of those. Then inside up inside of here, we've got a smithy we can make. 
And I've already made some mortar and pestles as well. We've got that right there. Hello, fabricator. Are you ready to be placed? We've got 17 railings, so not that many. Uh, can we make more railings, please? Is that a thing? Rail? What? Why? Huh? Oh, we're not at the top. There we go. 13 more railings. Get those going, man. We're trying to build stuff and things here. So let's go ahead and fly up. And then take a look. I feel like a really good spot for the fabricator would be over on this early side. But let's not let's not make the mistake of not placing our railings in this area first because we don't want anything to be placed like behind them or obstructing them. So we want to go ahead and get this done at the very least. All right, like so. Can we still not place a railing here? Did the art gods come and help us somehow, please? No? Really? It would be... Could I just once? Please? It does have a nearby foundation or support. Oh, wait. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe that's why. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, that is touching. Haha. -ha, yes, I knew I did it, right? Mm -hmm, I hope. All right. So that isn't the reason. We're just not going to be able to place that there. So we just won't. Uh, now that we have our security railing area, we're going to go ahead and get some mortar and pestles going. So we've got these guys right here. Let's do four on each side. I feel like that's a good number. One. Two. Eh, about that far. Three. Four. Now that it's game stopped. A little drink of water from our hard day of mortar and pestle placing. And wait, let's take a look at exactly how. Okay. I feel like this would work then. Like uh, one of these. Oh. What? All right, nailed it, Ace Decay. We stopped eight mortar and pestles up here. We're killing it. So we got a little extra one. You never can have too many, honestly. Now, let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's go ahead and get up into K mode so we can see a little bit better how this placement's going to work. Nope. A little bit of a turn. Nope. A little bit of another turn. A little bit of another turn. Are you straight? No. Ugh. Nailed it. Oh, it's a little bit off. Come on. No whammies. That's pretty darn close. So I think we'll stick this right uh, here. And then can I see from the front to back how we're doing there? We'll place it even with the pillar. I think that'll make it more symmetricalized. Is a word I just made up. And uh, now we've got over in this direction. We have our smithy right here like so. And we will go like one of these. And then we will K out. Make sure that she is in a straight type straightness no no right there probably probably no not perfect and looking at the bottom there it's kind of hard to see but it looks straight to me um all right so now we're gonna no why oh slipcater why do you k do you even k bro oh my gosh all right good enough for me now we're just going to make sure it's lined up like this and then lined up kind of back there like that. I'm liking it. Nailed that ACK. I feel like we turned it a little bit at the very end and that made it better. Look, it's perfect. Ish. No, it is. It's quite straight. I'm down. I'm totally down with that. Oh, wait. Did I grab storage stuff and things? We did not. Uh, do I have a bird here? So we're going to put a little bit of storage up. You know, I was thinking it'd be really cool if there were metal versions of... Um, and stone... Well, stone would be hard, I think. A stone cabinet would be difficult to make. But still, nonetheless, very, very cool. But I think it would be really cool for aestheticness if there were stone versions of these little smaller storage thingies. Um, because I don't want them to be wood. And I feel like that's going to look wacky up here. It will add a little bit of contrast, though. So that's not a big deal. Um, over here... To kind of line this up a little bit, we're going to put a couple of these guys down. Nope, that's not what we need to do. All right, let's just take a look here. We'll back that off a little bit. Right there looks ideal. Nailed it. And we'll back up and place another one right here. Aced it. And then we'll place one over here as well. A uh, little bit turned. Better, better. Can't be stopped. All right, so now we've got our smithy up here. We've got our fabricator up here. I always like to put something like right next to him just in case we need to put storage stuff and things in there. 
But, um, oh my gosh, guys, it's actually like a thing. We're actually finally building on top of our thing. Um, so I wonder how many more railings. I got eight more railings, so not a whole heck of a lot. But we did craft a bunch more down there. I think at this point I'm running out of cementing paste, um, which means we need to do a couple of trips to the Chitin Cave, and we need to do um, a couple of trips out just for stone stuff and things in order to kind of get to the next stage. So 